So I recently saw Dave Chappelle's Netflix special, Equanimity and the Burr Revelation. This is part three and four, I believe, of the Netflix special deal that Dave Chappelle had with Netflix where he got $60 million. That's a lot of money. There's some things that I learned about Dave Chappelle in these specials. Now I have to say Dave Chappelle is probably my favorite, my favorite comedian, and I will tell you why in this review. So, as always, my name is Mark Pisiaki. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Check out more of my vlogs, reviews, or whatever. And this is my review via pros and cons of Dave Chappelle's equanimity and the bird's revelation. All right, so you gotta start with the pros. The first pro is Dave Chappelle is my favorite comedian, and here's why. Dave Chappelle is a master at storytelling. In the first special, you can see it very, very well. From one point to the other, he told you, basically, if you haven't seen the special, this is a spoiler, so spoiler alert. He basically tells you the several times that he met OJ, but he goes from like point to point, and in the middle of those points, like side stories and side plots of laughter. It's like an actual film. You got a major plot line, but then you have these side plots that kind of add to the major plot line. And so this is what he's great at. And in Equanimity, he was so great that in the very, very beginning of the special, he tells everybody how the ending was. I'm gonna tell you the end at the beginning, and we're gonna go along this journey, and you still ain't gonna see how this ending is gonna come. And when it happens, you're gonna laugh. And I did, like profusely. It was so dope. And I thought the storytelling aspect is so important because it was able to make me just sink in and dive into everything he had to say. I went along with every twist and turn that he had going on in his special. And that's one of the greatest things ever. The second thing is this brother is woke. He is so woke, it's stupid. Like, oh my gosh, it makes everybody else look sleep. He's He's just so real. And he talks about things that, I'll be honest with you, not too many people would like to discuss, but he says it in a way that disarms you a bit. You can be okay with having these types of discussions, whether it's about race, whether it's about sexuality, whether it's about things that are very, very uncomfortable. He makes it feel at, at least a little more comfortable to deal with because of the fact that you have comedy. And that, and in a sense, I believe that's what all comedians attempt to do, but Dave Chappelle seems to be a master at it, and he flexed his muscles in the first equanimity and even in the Bird's Revelation. But let me get to the cons. All right, so the con is really, really simple. And really, this is not really a con. It's really more of a preference kind of thing. When you came to the first special, the first special was so tight-knit. The first special was so packaged well that it made the second one look worse in comparison because of the fact that it's packaged so well. And honestly, in the second one, the Bird's Revelation, it was more like a real talk conversation where you had a lot less jokes and more real talk, which made me think, one, you know, as a person who just wanted to see this for comedic uh, aspects, that could be bad for me because I want to hear more jokes. I don't want to hear real talk right now. I want to hear him say something funny. Make me laugh. That's how I can be feeling. But as a fan, I love the fact that he's actually giving your thoughts and it adds more to his character. This made me think I want to hang out with Dave Chappelle even if he never says another joke. I just want to hear his thoughts about what's going on in the world just so that I can just listen to him talk because he has a lot of great insight and he says a lot of great things. Overall, Dave Chappelle just showed off why he is my favorite comedian of all time. I, I could say that. I love Kevin Hart. K, K Hart was my is my guy. I'm not I'm not fatigued by him just yet. I love him. But at the same time, Dave Chappelle, man, from the Dave Chappelle show to now, this brother could do no wrong. But look, it's not about me, it's also about you. Did you see the Dave Chappelle comedy special? Did you see all of them? Which one was your favorite? Let me know in the comments below. Let me know what your favorite comedy is also. Otherwise, remember to like and subscribe, and remember, have yourself a blessed day and a blessed life.